Today on Engineering Newswire, we're shrinking power inverters for the chance to win a million dollars, firing glow-in-the-dark bullets, and creating power with industry byproducts. Want to win one million dollars? All you need is a little box. Well, you have to find an innovative way to string power inverters to something less than the size of a small laptop. Inverters take direct current from devices such as solar panels and batteries and turn it into alternating current for use in homes, businesses, and cars. By making them smaller, solar-powered homes can be a more realistic possibility, electrical grids could be more efficiently distributed, and electricity could be brought to the most remote parts of the planet. The challenge is a collaboration between Google and the Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineers, or IEEE. Applicants contemplating competing need to sign up by September 30th of 2014. Eligible academics interested in pursuing grant funding must apply by the grant deadline on the same day. Up to 18 finalists will be notified of their selection for final testing at the testing facility. They are required to bring their inverters in person to a testing facility in the United States by October 21st of 2015. The grand prize winner will be announced sometime in January of 2016. The winning inverter will be the one that achieves the highest power density and meeting a list of other specifications, as determined by a panel of judges while undergoing testing for 100 hours. For more details on the challenge, go to www.littleboxchallenge.com. And if you enter your little box, let us know. It sounds like a good story. Tracer rounds are used by soldiers to create a line of sight, allowing them to track the trajectory of their shots fired and then adjust them as needed. The problem with these rounds, however, is that the pyrotechnic streak they produce can give away the shooter's location. To combat this problem, engineers are working to create a new type of tracer with a reduced visual signature and an improved accuracy. Dubbed One-Way Luminescence, or OWL, the new tracer round is being developed by engineers at the Armament Research Development and Engineering Center. The engineers are experimenting with a variety of potential solutions, including one that works much like a glow-in-the-dark sticker but I'm sure it is much more complicated than it sounds. The ultimate goal is to replace the tracer rounds with the new OWL rounds. And as an added bonus, the OWL rounds may be safer to manufacture because they will not contain any pyrotechnic material. Final design is expected to be confirmed in 2017, when it will then transition to an engineering and manufacturing development program. Perhaps you've heard of hydrogen-powered cars. It's kind of a touchy subject with some people. Imagine that zero emissions energy source powering more than just a car like your house. The VTT Technical Research Institute in Finland has developed a pilot scale power plant based on fuel cells that use byproduct hydrogen from the process industry. Simply put, the system creates electricity from hydrogen that comes from a sodium chlorate process. The 50 kilowatt pilot sized plant runs at an efficiency of 44%. But when this technology is scaled to commercial size, it will enable the reduction of energy consumption of the electrolysis process used for sodium chlorate production by 10 to 20 percent. Now, hydrogen that is usable for fuel cells is not naturally occurring, so this utilization of byproduct gas could prove cost saving. The study also gives some insight into the use of the industrial grade hydrogen in PEM fuel cells, which are being looked at as the fuel cell du jour for future hydrogen powered cars. Other facilities like this one have been built in the Netherlands as well as in North America, and they are showing promise for the future of fuel cells and the future of energy. Do you have store ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in an upcoming episode. For the PDD channel, I'm Melissa Fossbender, and this has been your Engineering Newswire.